Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod! I'm back, I had to take a day off yesterday because I was so unwell, but I'm back today and I'm fighting fit. So in today's episode, what I plan to do is advance the character somewhat. I'm not exactly sure how much will advance the character, so I don't want to actually set myself a limit. But I've got goals, I'm going to try and beat some of them. So one of the things I did while I was ill is I went ahead and made a little 8 NPC home so that I could get some more NPCs. And more specifically, I wanted to meet Miri. Miri is from the Alchemist mod. And the Alchemist mod allows you to buy potions. If you've never seen me use this mod before, now you know. And the reason I use this mod is because I don't really enjoy fishing in video games as much as I used to. And it's nice to have that convenience there. So I went ahead and bought some obsidian skin potions. I thought it was very important to. And now with some of the supplies we got in the last episode, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a new pickaxe because I'm going to take those obsidian skin potions. We're going to dip on dive into, uh, into hell. And then we're going to get what we need to get, which is hellstone and some obsidian, essentially. So I do actually have a good story for you guys today. It's not about the washing machine. I know, already let you all down, but essentially, I'm not a morning person, and I don't feel like I'll ever be a morning person. I'm, I'm just a night person. I like staying up late. I feel like I do more work when it's late. It's not a great mentality to have, and it really shot me in the foot when I was, like, in education, when I was doing all of my um, studies and stuff like that, but as an adult, I kind of like it, right? I use these late hours of the night to, like, catch up on Netflix, if I ever want to do that. I usually use them to edit and post videos. That's why I'm somebody who posts really late. Anyway, the point is, I'm not a morning person. Probably never will be, right? So this morning, I was waking up feeling ill because I felt ill yesterday. And also just, you know, just bad at waking up in general, right? So I'm waking up and it's about like 9 a.m. It's not that bad, but it is quite bad. Because if you like start school, when I started school, you used to have to get up at 7 a.m., right? So it's like 9 a.m. and I can hear this chicken right? I can hear these loud chicken noises, you know, you know the classic chicken noises, like a, a rooster or a cockerel? Um, and I think it's an alarm. I just think it's an alarm, like, because obviously there are alarms out there that sounds like chickens. And I'm like, right, great, this alarm's going off. I can't be bothered to get out of bed to turn it off. So I just left it. I just left this chicken uh, alarm going off for like, maybe like 10 minutes because I just really could not be bothered to get out of bed and turn off this alarm. Turns out, wasn't an alarm. There was a, a chicken in my garden. And I don't have chickens. I think that's important to know. I don't have chickens. <laughs> and, uh, and so there was still a chicken in my garden, right? And when you move out of your, uh, your parents' house, you think you're very mature, you think you've all grown up. But every once in a while, you'll have to ring up your parents, right? And be like, hey, how do I do this? And I've got a few funny stories of that. So I had to wake up and be like, hey, dad. I had to ring up my dad and be like, hey, dad, um, there's a chicken in my garden. What do I do? Because I just have no clue. What do you do when a chicken just arrives in your garden? What, you can't like, where's your owner chicken? You can't bang it on Facebook and hope that somebody around knows that there's a chicken nearby. But no, apparently... It escaped, like Chicken Run. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that film. It's an absolute classic. If you haven't seen Chicken Run, you need to see it. It escaped like Chicken Run and made it into my garden. And the owner was like a few houses away. And apparently they have a lot of uh, hens. And they're very loud. And uh, for some reason, I've never noticed the sound of these hens or chickens in my neighborhood. Until until this morning. And then, uh, and then I really noticed them after they took it back. It was such a gorgeous looking chicken. I posted a picture of it on my Twitter if you want to have a look. But uh, it was it was a real nice chicken. I'll tell you one time, right? One time <laughs> that I had to like really ask my dad for advice. I've said this before. I'm so sure it was it was in a really old episode. But essentially, my dad was uh, was coming round because he lives an hour away, and he was bringing round one of his friends. He was meeting up with his friend for like coffee, and he wanted to bring this friend round because he hadn't been round to my uh, flat at the time, and he wanted me to meet this friend because I haven't seen this friend in a good few years, right? And so I know he's coming around at like, say, 6 p.m. So I'm like, great, I'm going to get a shower before he gets around so that I'm looking all fresh, you know, as you do. You know, you want to make a good impression. And I'm, I'm like, I'm very last minute. So I'm like, right, 10 to 6, I'm going to grab a shower. It'll all be good. I'll have wet hair, whatever. And um, 
<laughs> essentially, I, I leave my bedroom to go get a shower, and I come back, and my bedroom is locked. For some reason, the door handle just completely broke. It just shattered on the inside. So here I am, you know, with just a towel and nothing else, because I can't get into my room to go to, like, open it up. I can't get my phone, I can't get anything. I can't text my dad and be like, oh, come round in an hour when I fix this problem. And I also lived in a flat, so I couldn't just climb out the window and into the other window. I would probably die. So that was one time I had to really seek the help of my dad. So my dad's friend had to sit in my living room for an hour as my dad fixed my door with, like, these ghetto tools. It was... It was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. But, um... But that's growing up. That is growing up. Everybody has a moment like that. I swear if you're if you're an older viewer, you might know that. Maybe if you're like somebody who just left for college or university. Maybe you're somebody who um, who has a sister or a sibling or a brother like that. Has a good story. You might know how I feel. Okay, this is actually going so, so well. Usually I cut this part. I don't actually show me mining, but... Today I'm feeling a little bit different. I want to talk and, uh, and, you know, just have a chat because I was sat in bed all day yesterday playing Assassin's Creed out of all things, right? I, I told you guys I want to make a video about Assassin's Creed 2, so I did. Started working on a video about Assassin's Creed 2 and I was playing through Assassin's Creed 2. And after a while I was like, maybe I should try Origins again. Origins is the one from last year because I got it for free when I bought a graphics card. I played like an hour of it and didn't like it. So I was like, maybe I'll, I should try that again. And then I got back to it, and it was really, it's really good. I've, I've put in eight hours. I've just been like, I hooked it up to a, a laptop I bought a few years ago at Christmas, and it's, it doesn't look that great. It plays in 720, but I've just been in bed just enjoying it. And today I went to the cinema. That was good. I went to go see a, see a film called Johnny English, which is like a classic British uh, spy comedy. And they've had like a few of them. It's, it, it's very British, though. It's like very British humor. You get Black Panther in the US. It's very, very similar to Black uh, Black Panther, not Black Panther. Ha, I'm on about Pink Panther. Yeah, it's very similar to uh, to the struggles in Black Panther. <laughs> so that's what I did. Right, I need to go grab some obsidian. So my thinking was, oh, actually, actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab some iron buckets because there are some weapons that we can make, and I believe a lot of them require iron buckets. I, I might need three of them. So let's grab nine of those. Let's grab one, two, three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you need nine of them. Well, nine of them. Three buckets. Three buckets of lava to make multiple weapons. And I think the weapons are like mage weapons, I'm pretty sure, that you can make with Hellstone. The reason I wanted to make it is because I wanted the... Um, I just wanted new weapons and more defense for the fight ahead. Because obviously we're going to do Hive Mind at some point. I can't exactly remember the setup that I used for Hive Mind in a previous series. Usually, that's what I'll stick with, is like a, a base essentially to uh, to, to decide what I'm going to use. Huh. All right, I know what I'm going to do. I am gonna build this over with ash and pour this water in, just like that. So that'll be part one, and then there's a little bit more water just up here. So the goal is to get it down into this tunnel. I think I can do it. Let's have a little look. Where's the water at? Hmm, is it here? It's here. So yeah, so that's that's all I've been doing is like chilling in bed, playing Assassin's Creed. It's actually all right. I don't mind being ill because I get ill all the time. I got I got a question in the last episode when I said oh, I'm ill, and it was like it wasn't a question. It was like more of a you're ill all the time. Yeah, I am. I don't know why, but ever since I was like a child, I've had like such a poor immune system. And I look after myself, like, I like as you guys know, I do all my running and stuff, I don't eat poorly, I don't like eating junk food, you can ask Python, I'll never eat, I never eat takeaways of Python. <laughs> and so, um, so yeah, I don't know, I'm just one of these people, it really sucks, to be honest. But uh, it's always just colds and stuff, I might just have, like, really bad allergies and not even know. And, uh, yeah, that's why I'm always ill. Okay, so how's this, oh, this actually, oh, no, 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 no. Save the water. Save the water initiative. Okay, that's good. I was gonna see, I was like, can you use Vein Miner and Obsidian? I think I tested this in my last series. You can. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Get out of the way, worm. Nobody cares about you. Alright. Have I got my, my two slimy boys out? 
One, two. Okay, I need this. Oh, it's Tim. <laughs> I did wonder why it would say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is great. I haven't had this in forever. The plasma rod. This is this is a vanilla one, right? Or am I just, like, chatting nonsense? Is it vanilla? All right, it's clearly not vanilla. <laughs> For some reason, I was like, oh, I haven't seen this vanilla weapon in a while. Yeah, I'm really happy about that. I really love the Tim hat. Once one because it's a reference to Monty Python, which is another great British uh, film series. I'm sure most of you have probably seen, um, but also because it really suits the vanity. I like a lot of like British television and films. Like to be honest, like I really like Red Dwarf. That's a show that me and Python talk about a lot. That's like an old 80s sci-fi TV show from Britain. I also really like Doctor Who, and I don't know why, because it's not really that great anymore, and it hasn't been for uh, for years, like actually years, but I like Doctor Who. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I think obviously growing up in Britain, you, you end up watching a lot of like British TV shows because your like, dad watches them. That's how most people get into shows, essentially, is like their parent gets into them, or a sibling, and you just watch along. But that's especially true for me. Right, I didn't grab a Hellstone Forge. I'm going to cut this out. I'll be right back. Oh, look, here we go. All right, grab that. And then I also might need to grab some Fire Blossom because I can't remember exactly how many I have at the house. So let's see if we can just find some. Right, there's a Fire Blossom. Oh, is it not blooming? I don't know what the criteria is for uh, for blooming Fire Blossom. I'm not exactly sure. I think when you just go down, some are just bloomed and some are not. I don't know. Because none of these are blooming. Oh, there you go. That one's bloomed. And that looked like just the rest of them. Really not sure. Right, let's uh, cut through here. I should have really brought a water walking potion with me. Oh. 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 Here we go. Right, still doing all right. Still doing all right. All right, here's some more fire blossom. Are you going to give me one? No. <laughs> I might have one at the house, but then I'm just like, God, if I don't have one, I'm so certain you need two for a weapon. It's just two is sticking out to me. The number the number two. <laughs> Where is it? Any more fire blossom? Does it only bloom when it's in lava? Because it used to. It used to only grow in lava. Oh, a coin pole. Right. Well, well, this was worth it then. Nice. I've actually got so much money this series. And I always like getting loads of money in a series. But I know... The second I actually need to, to think about reforging, it's gone. <laughs> like, and then it's super depressing trying to get more. Oh, this one looks like it's blooming. Yay, okay. Right, let's check out some uh, some crafting stuff then. So, let's close the door. Let's get all cozy in our little house. Look at this. So cozy. Right, let's slap this bad boy down. All right, so, Hellstone bars. We can make... Wow. Over... Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> right, so let's take a little look. So one of the things I want to make is an imp staff. That's for certain because I've been really enjoying our slimes. But I feel like two imp staffs is probably better than two slimes, right? And then I could also make, looking at this, a hellwing staff. Unleashes pillars of flames. Okay, cool. I also want to make a set of molten armor. So, our current defense is 15. Our new defense is 28. Very nice. So, let's see. Is there anything else that we can make? I want to check out the fly, the fire blossom. Yeah, this is what I was thinking of. I was thinking of this. Oh, you need a bookcase. Ah. Now, how do you... How do you get a bookcase? Have I got a sawmill? I don't have a sawmill. Okay. Let's check out a bookcase, because I have books. I went to the dungeon to get books. Bookcase. You need 10 books and 20 wood. All right, let's make that. So I went to the dungeon, and it's funny because, and I said this might happen, because the earth is higher up, you can go further down into the dungeon. So I went there and got a water bowl. I'm not going to use it because it's vanilla. But uh, I did also go just to get some books, because I always like adding some books to my house, because I make pretty terrible houses, Let's be real. <laughs> so, adding books in is like the most simplest way of making a house look a little bit better. 
So I've got a, I've got my books. Now we need some chains. So let's grab some gems. Let's make some chains. Let's see here. Ten chains. Cool. And then I should be able to make a sawmill. Let's see. So a sawmill is made by getting chains and putting it together with what? Oh, it's there. Right. So, oh, you need two extra bars. Okay, that's cool. I can do that. So one, two. Sawmill is... God, I'm always so blind to sawmills. Why can't I just, like, detect them? <laughs> oh, is it? Where is it? <laughs> I am for real struggling to see this sawmill. Why am I struggling so bad to see it? Is it done here? Oh, it's there. All right, okay. I needed to be closer. Okay, I apologize. I always hate these building moments because I just fumble over myself like an idiot. Got a bookcase, cool. We'll slap a bookcase down. Very mystic, very magical. And now I should be able to, but I can't because I haven't got obsidian. One second. Jesus, all right, have a little look at this. All right, I'm just grabbing this obsidian real quick. Look at the map. <laughs> it's so broken, but also completely fine. If you've got ambitions, calamity, you got to go for it. But boy, does that look bad. Okay. <laughs> right, so... I should be able to make my weapon now, and I can stop bumbling over my own words. Here we go. So we've got two new weapons. Amazing. Amazing. Cool. Right. Cast away some of this stuff. We've got a hell of a lot of stuff to actually uh, put away. Like this. And those. And these. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in reality. Like, we've done good today. I feel like we've done good. I'm running out of storage space, though. Let's see. Armor and vanity. Get rid of you for now. Blocks. We need to get rid of you. Okay, cool. Right. Let's test out a new weapon. So, Hellwing Staff. Ooh, very nice. And the Flare Bolt. I've run out of mana. One second. I'm going to go to crafting real quick. Or is it nature? Because I actually do have a collection of fallen stars. Or do I not? There we go. Fallen stars. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool. That's kind of cool. So it's like the water bolt, but it's a flare bolt. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. And it's 31. Let's actually compare that to a water bolt, because I do have one. So weapons, water bolt, this does 22. Not bad, not bad. I like it. Right, so that's where I'm going to end today's episode. In tomorrow's episode, we'll be taking down the hive mind. And with the hive mind, you actually get a bunch of new uh, armors and weapons and stuff like that. So I'm kind of excited. Right, have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Also, remember to leave a like. Peace.